Howdy folks, in this video I am going to show you how to turn on Windows 10 file history uh, well to save you from those awful moments when you've uh, deleted your files or accidentally I'm sure or uh, when somebody else has done it for you or just simply corrupted something uh, that you need to get an earlier version of. So let's click on the start button and type in the word backup. You'll see backup settings as an option. Just simply click there and you'll see uh, your option here, backup using file history. Okay, so um, first main option of course is add a drive. And uh, essentially, if you don't already have one, what you're going to need is uh, an external drive or internal if you're more technical, but uh, the easiest thing is an external USB hard drive. Uh, not very expensive, around 100 bucks or so in my area for, uh, you know, two or more terabytes. Um, get one of those, plug it in, uh, initialize and format it if you have to. I have another video about that uh, that you can search out. But uh, essentially you want a spare drive uh, separate from your main drive that you can back up your files to. So let's click there and it's going to search for drives. It's found my backup drive, which I have set as drive B. And I'm going to click on that drive. And essentially, uh, it assumes that what you wanted to do was turn this on and it is going to automatically back up my files. That's on. And let's just check out what our more options are. So right now, we don't have a backup. So size of backup is zero bytes. So it hasn't started doing its thing yet. Uh, we, we can tweak the schedule right now. The default is every hour, but if you are um, work more intensely and you don't want to lose even an hour of work, you can have every 10 minutes set. Or if you don't really make many changes, you can just have it every 12 hours or daily. All right. Um, keep my backups forever is a great deal if you have enough room. Um, if uh, space may become an issue um, you may want to choose which I would recommend until space is needed right that way you can just not think about it your drive can fill up to whatever point and then it will start removing the older backups right so I'm not sure why that's not a default because it makes the most sense to me um, but anyway I would switch it to that right now, uh, below here are the folders that are being backed up, right? And, uh, you know, they include all the usual suspects, you know, downloads, desktop, documents, you know, videos, pictures, music, you know, pictures, music, there we go. So, um, in most cases, for home users, that's going to be more than adequate. Just make sure that when you're saving pictures, they go to your pictures or your desktop or, or what have you, it's one of these folders, right? Um, which would be the default behavior. But say you had a uh, special piece of software or a folder in the root of C or something, and you wanted to add that, you can go ahead and click add a folder, right? And you know, say go to drive C and just say, I wanted this service folder um, to be added because that's a folder that I've created where I put little uh, utilities that I use to service my computer. I can select that and say, choose this folder and it will add it to the list, right? So you can go beyond the defaults here and um, you can switch drives, stop using that drive, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but basically, uh, that's what you need to do other than um, if you want things to get in motion right away, click on Backup Now, right? And um, it will go and do its thing. So let's take a peek at Drive B and see what has changed. Um, now, um, recently I did a video on creating a, a system image and a system repair disk and this Windows Image Backup folder was created on my backup drive. Now that I've turned on file history, uh, we have a file history 
um, folder. And this one is browsable. As I mentioned in the other video, the uh, system image folder isn't normally browsable. But here we can actually go in and owner is the uh, user on my computer. This is the computer name, right? And then, uh, you know, we can ignore the configuration for browsing. But if we jump into data, we see then the drive, drive C, that's the letter. We've got that service folder that I added, right? And then otherwise, under users and owner are going to be all the other folders uh, that are being backed up, right? Now this is a, a virtual machine. It's not actually a working machine. So I don't even think I have anything I don't under documents to back up. Um, this is essentially an empty machine that I use for uh, doing these kinds of videos, etc. cetera. But, um, you know, under normal circumstances, you would have files throughout uh, most of these folders, at least the main ones, documents, desktop, um, pictures, perhaps videos, and uh, and you would be able to, you know, check out the recent backups of those in here directly, All right? So um, that is how you set up uh, file history in Windows 10. Hopefully it will save you from any future troubles that you may run into. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.